welcome to or back to my channel. Hey, I'm Ellen if you're new here and today I, well not today, this kind of long weekend I've got Friday Monday and Tuesday off and I thought I would do my everyday outfits forward slash a bit of a vlog as well so today we are off and it's Friday we've talked to a mortgage advisor been for a run had some like brunchy breakfast and now we're about to head out I left my keys at work so we're actually going to my office to pick up my keys and then we're gonna go do the happy hour at ping pong the dumpling place which should be really delicious it looks like a really really good happy hour everything including drinks is 50% off so looks really really good um, but I thought I would kind of center this vlog around like what I'm wearing every day because it's gonna be like 29 degrees in London starting from tomorrow so that is when my outfits really come into their own so Today's outfit is, um, let me see, I might have to bring you down a little bit to see this a bit better. Uh, that's my head cut off, but you get the idea. Um, I'm wearing these pink linen shorts and this little white top. This little white top is really, really old from, um, I bought it I think when I went to Coachella in like 2016. So it's really, really old from a store which they're all over US, the US called LF. Um, and that's where this top is from um, it's all like open at the back so you can like see in it's like very beachy summer vibes and then I got it on with these pink shorts which are new in from a store called well an online website called Burlock which um, if you watch my bikini haul they were in that they're like very summer holiday vibes and then I've got the matching shirt as well I don't know necessarily if they need it needs the shirt for today but I'm gonna take it just to be safe and I'm gonna be wearing it with my new L'Enchamp um I think it's called the it's the extra small mesh bag Le Filet or something um I've literally still got the tag and I need to take that off um but I'm gonna wear it with that bag because I don't need anything particular today and I'm gonna bring my little clip with me which I always kind of attach to my bag uh, my little clip is from Tort it's just so so cute my um boyfriend's sister got it for me for my for my birthday i love it i always need to take the the tag off this um what they've done in the launch store is put a scarf in it let me put you back up high again is they'd um put a scarf in it so that you don't don't see what's in but i'm really just not that bothered um and then my sunglasses i've chosen to wear today are my uh, Ray-Bans, I think these are called the Ibiza frames if you're interested in them so I'm gonna wear those because I think it goes with, like the funky look and what I did want to wear was my Loewe sandals these are the, I forget what they're, they're called, Joyce is my Loewe bag, I don't remember what the sandals are called um, but I'll link them down below if I can, they're really old, not really old, probably about four years old but you can um, you can still buy them on like Vestiaire and stuff so I will um, link them like put some vestia links to them if i can find a pair of them um i've got them in a five but they do come up like i'd say a little small so i'm wearing a five but i normally wear a four i but I, what i'm saying is i want to wear these today but i do think that today is going to be quite walking heavy so i think that's probably the wrong choice of shoe um because they're not like the most comfortable because you can use that because they're so heavy because they've got so much heel on them so i think instead i'm just going to wear my white stuff like fisherman sandals which are like memory foam ridiculously comfortable vibes probably gonna wear those instead um and if you are like old here or have been around knocking knocking around for a while uh, like i have you may notice that my hair is parted differently today i've parted it on the side um and this is something i'm trying out unfortunately my alopecia has come back so um i've got like a patch here that's starting to get quite bad so um i'm gonna try parting my hair on the side and see if that like not see just just for hiding it really like I do like it's very obvious with my middle parting so I'm gonna have to get used to my hair on the side let me know what you think or how you think I should like style it um I'm gonna go get my hair cut so that it sits a bit better on this side as well um and she can give me some advice for it so yeah that's the vibe I'm also gonna take you along with me today do some little like vloggy clips as well you can see how my outfit holds up how it looks in natural light and yeah let's go spend Friday together <laughs> Just got back from 
from central london and i bought myself a little treat in ganny so i thought i would show you um i'm not going to try it on for you now because it is going to be an outfit throughout the week she wraps it so beautifully here's going to be an outfit throughout the week so um i am going to style it up probably monday or tuesday so you'll be able to see it then but it's the the top everyone's sort of wearing at the moment this like ganny oh, the bag's gone puff sleeve bow top so it's got i hope that's not it's gonna be too white i think there we try and get a bit closer it's got the three bows down the front and this gorgeous puff sleeve and oh my god it's so cute um for size reference if you're thinking of buying this i got this in a size 12 which is a euro size 40 and it fits really nicely um even around my boobs so i am obsessed so i've been like wanting this for a while so definitely a great little purchase i um i'm going on a shopping ban for 60 days from the first of july yeah first of july so i'm going to do july august off shopping and then obviously start shopping again for second hand september because i love to do loads of like content around second hand september last year i did 30 days of second hand outfits and i'll probably do the same um this september so yeah this is probably going to be one of my last purchases before my shopping ban for two months so we'll see where i go with my content when i'm banned from shopping <laughs> guys welcome back to day two of my day in outfits today i'm wearing this cute little uh play suit from it's really old new look actually i think it's from a few years ago um but it's so nice it's like all open at the back really like refreshing cool i don't have to wear a bra with it like literally just holds my boobs and it's got this gorgeous little buff sleeve super cute and i'm gonna wear it with my doc martin pink doc martin sandals because they're really comfy and um i think they just go so fun with the pink um i'm then wearing my jimmy fairly sunglasses and i've curled my hair which i think looks really nice um i don't remember if i said in my last video that i'm wearing in a side part because my alopecia um but i actually like it really curled i think it's gonna take a while to get used to like a side part but i do quite like it curled and um, my hair's not holding a curl very well at the moment um but i've just booked a haircut so hopefully that should help um i'm then obviously gonna use my um little longchamp mesh bag again today and i think i'm gonna take my hay house big mesh bag to carry my water bottle as well because it's gonna be 30 degrees today and I think water is gonna be needed, but this is gonna look so cute with this and I'm not gonna take a jacket or a cardi or anything like that. So yeah, that's the, the outfit of the day. I've got some uh, chatting to do to you because we've, it's flying ant day and I just came home from trying to get my eyebrows done, which was a fail. And there were like flying ants all over the living room and I had a freak out and I just shouted for I was like, please come, please come. Rather than being like, there's an ant infestation in the living room, I was just like, come, come. And he thought I'd like, hurt myself or something. So I was, just come, please, quick, was the wrong thing to shout instead of there's an ant infestation in the living room. Um, but we've what we've done is hoovered them up, then we've emptied out the hoover bag and taken that down to the bins. Um, and we have don't have any ant killer in the flat, but I found moth killer. So we've sprayed that in the area. So hopefully that helps. But I've spoken to my mum and my sister and they both have reassured me that apparently this is just like a one day a year thing. And hopefully they'll be gone by tomorrow. But I've also um, panicked, texted my landlady as well. And she's just recommended some stuff to get and then said she will get someone out if they do persist. So I just hope they're like, Pete's going out. We're going out to an exhibition today and then we're going for lunch, like lunch dinner with um, some of our, like a, neutral group of friends and then Pete's going off to watch the some sort of big football final and I'm probably going to come home on my own um I was going to go out for drinks but now I feel like I just want to come home and check the flat hasn't been like eaten alive by ants but the idea of coming home on my own and having to deal with the ant situation is terrifying but look I'm a big girl blew on my own before I don't need a man to fix an ant issue for me but it's okay hi guys it's literally like five past eight probably no it's 29 and i am on a saturday <laughs> i'm in my pajamas these are my pajamas i'm wearing at the moment they are silk pajamas from yon i forget what the brand is called um but i got them for seb they're like originally what's the brand called yolky london uh, y o l k e london um and they're originally like seven seven hundred no, about 300 quid pajamas but i got them for seven quid in a in batsy car boot sale so um got them for a total bargain um but basically i um i've come home i came home about probably about seven ish after um we went to the museum which was an interesting experience i don't know if i enjoyed it or not uh it was 
yeah, it was weird. It was like very like, it was a lot more intense than I was thinking it was gonna be. Like I should have known it was like Royal College of Surgeons or whatever. So like, I feel like I should have known, but I, I don't know, I didn't expect it to be so, so intense. It was like, so all the jars of like the dead animals and stuff, obviously were there but they um oh, that's not my eye cream they they had like quite intense ones like um like a lot of like kind of like pregnant animals or like wombs of mothers or like premature babies and stuff in jars and i just oh i don't know if i liked it i don't know if i liked it one bit to be honest um, i'm not gonna put any pictures in from it here because i feel like it's the kind of thing you choose to put yourself through not you get flashed in an outfits of the week video um so yeah that was an interesting experience it's the hunterian museum i don't know if i said earlier if you are interested um and then we went to um this amazing tapanyaki type restaurant afterwards which specializes in the like uh pancakey eggy omelette type things um i'm gonna put some clips now because um it was it was very um yeah it was very very good it was spenny but it was like like really 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 delicious so i like would highly highly recommend it um tony one of pete's friends who we went with said that he is currently um like basically getting restaurant recommendations from the michelin star guide so they recommend restaurants that are like close to having a michelin star but don't actually have one yet um or don't aren't planning on getting one and then he like filters on like the least spenny ones and um goes to those i don't know if that's how you found this restaurant or this was separate but um yeah so we ate that and it was amazing and then um the boys went off to watch the football and i came home because i you know they can have some boy time and i did not want to watch the football i'm using a um toner from car Lavender. lavender like um a um lavender like like a skincare like a home garden farm in Carshall. I don't know what you'd call it, like it's like a, a herb, herb farm, that's what I'm going for. It's a herb farm in Carshall and they make their own skincare and all the stuff is just so, so good. And now I'm using their toner at the moment and it's delightful. Um, yeah, so yeah, I came home after that. Um, the ant situation, if you're interested, there were no ants when I came home, but I'm still certain that they are plotting their way back uh, into the house. But, um, so I'm not done being on edge, yet i'm convinced they are going to be back so i i'll keep you updated on um that situation um but i basically got in the shower because i stank of like you know when you go to teppanyaki and it's very smoky or like do korean barbecue or something it's very smoky i basically stank of korea of um uh like cooking smell so i had to get in the shower and like get rid of it and yeah, I said, what did I say? It's like 20 to 9 now, quarter to 9. Um, and I think I'm going to sit on the sofa and my friend Sophie keeps telling me to watch Married at First Sight Australia. So I think that's what I'm going to do with the rest of my evening. Um, and then tomorrow, my, me and my sister and I are going to go to a dog show in Tutti. And then I have a Star Wars exhib exhibition with Pete. So that should be fun. Um, it should be a really good, like, another, like, chill day. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just sit on myself on the sofa and have a nice, relaxed evening, semi-worrying about flying ants. Guys, so this is my Sunday outfit of the day. It's a very casual one today. I'm wearing these shorts from Zara that are, like, really old. I think they're about... <laughs> don't even need to be over there for any reason. That's been annoying. <coughs> I'm also going to get your copyright yeah, can you... with the Spotify. <laughs> Lovely. Um, so yeah, these shots from Zara that are like three or four years old, I'd say. Um, they're really, really fun. They're like all these fun colours and they're knitted, but they're like, you know, really holy. So they're not like too hot because it's going to be obviously very warm today. Then I got my Ganny Dolphin t-shirt on. This is actually on sale for £68, I think, on Ganny at the moment. So if you do like it and you're interested, then um, you can get it on Ganny on sale at the moment. I then have the uh, Fisherman sandals from White Stuff on because I want to be really comfy. Oh yeah, it's definitely flying ant day. I can see them outside. Oh, they're huge. What? Oh, What's wrong? The flying ants flying outside are huge. Do you want to close the windows? A little bit. Close the windows then. I'm leaving them in the opening the bedroom though because all the curtains are closed. Maybe I'll just leave close one so there's less opportunity for them to get in. Is that stupid? Do you want me to close up in the, in the living room? Okay. 
So, and I've got my hair clipped back to A for, um, to be cool and B because I'm really not enjoying my hair at the moment. Um, but I left a little bit of fringe out because I thought it was quite sweet. Um, I've got these earrings which are from a brand called, I think it's called like Metal London or something. But I'll, again, we'll link them down below if I can find the link. They're from a, a store called Lark, which is like all around southwest London. And I've got my taut hair clip in, um, and I'm going to use my Longchamp and Hay House netted bags today, which are behind me. Um, so yeah, that's my outfit of the day. I'm going to meet my mum and my sister, and we are going to a dog show, I think. I don't know what we're doing at lunch. And then me and Pete are going to a Star Wars exhibition, so I'll take you along for that fun. So we've just made it to West no, South Ken. It's like a four minute walk from where we're going and the weather's gone really weird. Like I feel like it could absolutely pour down at any moment, but it's okay because we're going inside, but and people bought our umbrellas, so it's safe. But yeah, had a, a really good day. The dog show got canceled because of the heat, which is obviously fair on the doggies, but then I did meet a cute doggy on the tube just then. And I've also decided I'm gonna cut my hair short. So by the time you see this, I might have short hair. Like real, like French girl Bob style. I think that's what I'm gonna do. That's the fact. There's Pete. Everyone, it's Monday. It's my favourite outfit of the week so far. I'm sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the back. No, not the dishwasher. I wish we had a dishwasher. The washing machine in the background. Um, but I am in a different space today and it's actually a much better outfit of the day spot, actually. But obviously, not obviously because why would you know this, but this corner of my house over here was where the ant situation took place. So that's why it hasn't been being used. But I think we've got it under control. Touch wood. We've got it under control. So this is my outfit of the Monday. We are going to St. James's Park to go to a food market around there. Then probably going to go for a little wander in St. James's Park. I must take a hay fever tablet because otherwise that's just going to be a disaster. But I'm wearing definitely my favourite outfit of the week so far. I'm wearing my new top I picked up in Ganny uh, last weekend. It is so cute. It was worth every single penny I spent on it. I think this is going to be like my most worn top of the summer um probably also the winter probably just for the foreseeable really so i've got two quite viral pieces on this top is obviously going crazy on tiktok and then i've got on um the zara skort so it looks like a skirt from the front and then the back looks like shorts and obviously it's like a shorts moment but i love this i got it in an extra large and it is a bit big but i just wanted it like big and baggy and oversized and then because we're going to be doing quite a bit of walking i've got my flowery platform like daisy platform converse on and i'm changing up the bag today i'm going to be using my coach teddy tabby i think this is called i don't remember what it was called but they i am um, I know I say shit like, oh dear, shit like this all the time, but I did buy this before the tabbies were cool, by the way. Um, so this style does not exist anymore and is ridiculously hard to find because I bought this four years ago, I think. Now? Three, three maybe three or four years ago. Um, now and the tabbies are slightly better quality now i lost the top handle for it or a new year's eve uh on a one a one new year's eve so i bought this like little uh pearl string which actually looks quite cute on it got my clip attached because in case i need to put my hair up and then i still have managed to save this it is i made a whole video about this it hasn't lasted very well so i do need to um go to coach and see if they can kind of make it look a bit rejuvenated but it's got this like tortoise shell on it i still stand by i made a whole video about this that i don't think tabbies are deserve the hype that they have i think there is much better coach bags before tabby um i bought the coast coach mercer satchel which is you can find them best here for like 50 60 quid in my opinion a much cooler bag than tabby in terms of the way it looks she said she's using her tabby today but the tabby like this tabby goes so well with this outfit um it's a much cooler bag in terms of how they look it's all like true leather whereas the tabbies all the tabbies are um and it's a lot more like less structured so it just looks like slouchy and fits so much more but a similar kind of size crossbody to the tabby so yeah great bag look it up if you're interested um and yeah this is the fit for the day and we're gonna go oh, and i've got my jimmy fairly 
sunglasses on. Like every sustainable fashion influencer, these were gifted. Um, but yeah, that's the look for today. And let's go get lunch. You are, um, what I think very rightfully so, uh, balanced on some ant killer right now. Just keeping it real. So we decided not to go to St James's Park and we've come for lunch in Parsons Green and gone for all the, gone to all the charity shops around here which are amazing. I've got a couple of videos I think of me charity shopping around here. They're just like full of designer gems. Um, like there was, well just go over to my Instagram or TikTok and I always film when I'm in the charity shops in there if you want to see. Um, I do film a lot for YouTube as well but I didn't on this occasion. Hi guys, you're not up high enough. When will I ever learn? Hi, so today it is Thursday, no, Tuesday. We are back to work tomorrow and today's outfit of the day is actually quite a different one for me. It's, this is my idea of like lounge wear. Um, so I'm wearing these linen trousers which I got from Shelter in Wimbledon Village last summer and they're um, M&S and they were brand new with tags. I think they were about six or seven pounds which is so good and I wore them all last summer and I'm definitely gonna get loads of wear out of them this summer as well because they're just perfect really um, I'm then wearing it with the Uniglo bra top so these are so good considering how big my boobs are these hold and fit so well I'm gonna get a few more colors before we go off on holiday I think because I think they're like the perfect little holiday top for like um, just having something to throw on um, and not really having to think about it. So I'd like them in the white and also do a pink as well, but the pink's all sold out online. So fingers crossed I can try and find it in a real life store. Um, I'm then just gonna use my Uniglo. Oh wow, is this outfit sponsored by Uniglo? Um, <laughs> the Uniglo uh, crossbody bag, which fits absolutely everything. I'm so surprised I haven't, have I used it at all in this video yet? Unclear. Um, and then my Jimmy Fairley sunglasses because it's still very sunny and beautiful outside. Um, and we're having like a proper chilled one today. So we're not like um, really doing anything. We're just gonna like pop down to our high street. We need a, to get a few food bits. We, I wanna get like a toothbrush holder, like boring stuff, just little like bits and bobs, but I don't need to be super dressed up for anything. Um, I've also put my hair in a ponytail with uh, loads of hair oil as well so that hopefully it's nice and soft when I wash it later and then I'm wearing it with my Louis Vuitton Bon Dia sandals are they can you see them can you see them um these are just like Louis Vuitton the Louis Vuitton slides I got these from uh Vestiaire um but they are still available this season as well although buying them full price I probably wouldn't do because they are so expensive and they are just coated canvas they're like not even leather so the Louis Vuitton, I think, have put up all their prices this season um, again. I think they're about 700 or six or 700, maybe even more now. And I just don't, don't think I could justify it for these. But um, yeah, I got them secondhand off Vestia, which is a great place to find secondhand bits if you are in the secondhand designer luxury market. Um, yeah, so that is my outfit of the day. So, whoa, um, I didn't actually properly end this vlog, but that was my five days of outfits. I think it turned into five days of outfits. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see more outfit slash vlog videos, then do let me know, because they're actually really, really fun to make. I love obviously chatting about what I'm wearing. I make quite a big effort with what I wear every day, so it would be something I could literally so easily implement. Um, and yeah. God, I, what is going on outside? Um, Frick spin men. But yeah, let me know if that's something you'd like to see. And subscribe if you're new here. And I'll catch up with you in my next one. Bye, guys.